Good morning, guys. Wow, a heck of a past 24 hours here, both in crypto and NFTs. Guys, we are seeing a major downswing, especially in Bitcoin right now. Now, on the NFT side, a lot of cool stories, a lot of building happening right in front of us here. So this morning, I'm going to run you through all the top stories, but I want to remind you, if you want to get deeper in all these topics, I am going live every morning over on SlamX Official. So yeah, make sure you tune in there. Can't wait to see you there, by the way. And guys, to keep up in general with the shows and what's going on in this space, follow me over on X. You can find me at at Huda underscore idiot. And now right to the NFT market. And like I said, yeah, a pretty rough 24 hours here. You can see the forecast 500 NFT index showing that the NFT market has lost 4.54% of its value. Zooming out to seven days, you actually see it doesn't get much worse than that. Down about six and a half percent, but you see a majority of that again coming in the past 24 hours here. And that is most certainly coming from the bloodbath here in crypto right now. You can see Bitcoin down a whopping 7.16%, ETH down over five and a half percent, Solana down over seven percent and then you have meme coins like doge and she both down over 10 percent as far as why the market has fallen so significantly tune into chain reactor because we're definitely riffing on this today for now though we're looking at nft sales yesterday which came in at just over 23 million and yes that's cross-chain sales unique sellers falling unique buyers falling as well same with total transactions and trade profits even deeper into the negative now almost two million dollars my goodness now as far as what's moving this wild market here we're looking at crypto slam the general General Ordinals Collection is your top NFT collection. They're followed by D Market, Dokyo, Azuki, CryptoPunks, Mutant Ape Yacht Club, Node Monkeys, Pandora back in the top 10, Board Ape Yacht Club, and Mad Lads rounds out your top 10. And your top NFT sale is a boogle over on Solana. This guy's selling for 1300 soul. Guys, $161,000. You probably noticed we skipped the BRC20 bundle, going more to the traditional NFTs here. Also seeing a bunch of CryptoPunk sales. I'll tell you what, guys, if this is an extended, let's just call it a cooling off period, I'm not going to be shocked to see crypto punks fall into the 20s maybe might sound crazy right now but i could see it upper 20s now lately we've gotten a lot of our predictions right i'm talking about the price of bitcoin also talking about some of these ordinals collections like bitcoin puppets remember we talked about the merlin unlock the extra supply that's coming into market and yeah now bitcoin puppets down to 0.24 these i see getting down to maybe even 0.19 0.18 so keeping my eye out for that personally node monkeys also impacted by that extra supply in general though volume much lower in the bitcoin ecosystem keep your eye on blifstone guys we're coming back to that at the end. I'll say a mostly red day for Solana NFT floor prices. You can say the exact same for Ethereum NFT floor prices. And then base kind of hard to read with such low volume, but mystical looking great here with almost 160 ETH in the past 24 hours. Okay, getting to our top stories in this one, man, I love it. This is probably my favorite thing yesterday. Okay, because Yuga Labs, they like to have meetings in Discord. They might do them on spaces, but they very much do this building out in the open thing. And now guys, at least this Thursday for their other side town hall, it's not going to be in Discord. It's not going to be in spaces it is going to be directly in the other side metaverse i love it this is what they should have been doing all along it's what i always pictured the other side to be used for so if you're a holder of any yuga labs asset that is voyagers code as board apes mutant apes me bits and then even the grailed and moonbirds collections i gotta see if the oddities get to join too because i have one of those but you'll be able to attend this event live again this is how all their meetings should be going forward have them in the metaverse okay we made this call yesterday too we said that blur is going to be integrated on blast by the end of the day yesterday and look easy prediction. They said it would be launched in April, but here it is. Blur is now officially on Blast, and guys, there is no other dApp on Blast that is getting a bigger allocation of gold here. Now, according to NFT stats, it looks like they're giving away around $1.2 million a day in rewards. That has to do with seasons and the value of gold and the short time they have to give that gold away. So expect trading action to pick up massively, but also expect that some of the big farmers are probably going to sit this one out. I mean, at this point, farming is just so much work, and for some of these guys, not even worth it, and they're playing some legit PV PvP now against other farmers. It's a tricky game. So maybe, just maybe, this helps build us some momentum here for NFTs, regardless of what chain they're on. Now, a reminder, Azuki's Enter the Garden anime series kicked off yesterday. And I gotta tell you, it's absolutely phenomenal. Don't let me spoil it here for you guys. Go check it out. Major salute here to Azuki for pulling this off. Wow. And guys, Anime Coin, which is co-created with Azuki and some other anime projects, well, they launched this little gotcha service. Basically, earn points for having your Azukis and some other assets. And you basically use those points to spin a wheel. You get one of these prizes. Prizes, and in those prizes, we're thinking you're going to end up getting some of this anime coin when it launches. And then we're just going to NFT LDR through the rest of our stories here. But guys, OP Cat is now officially live on the Signet testnet on Bitcoin. And hey, this is pretty cool. But FaZe Banks welcomes Frank to God's to FaZe Clan. FaZe Clan going heavy into crypto and Web3. Yesterday, Coinbase teased a lightning bolt. Some of us thinking there was something to do with decentralized. I like to tease that it. it's something to do with Crypto Slam. But no, instead, it was Coinbase now supporting the Lightning Network. Lightning lets you transfer Bitcoin 
Bitcoin at a very low cost at high speeds. Great move, Coinbase. And next, Animoca Brands coming to Bitcoin in a big, big way here. They're looking to build out the biggest Web3 ecosystem of gaming, entertainment, DeFi, education, culture, everything you see them building out on Ethereum and the L2s. Well, you're about to see them build out the same over on Bitcoin. So remember that Blifstone I pointed out before? Yeah, that's the asset. Also coming to Bitcoin, a fun new art collection. I mean, literally, the collection's titled Fun. This collection coming from Parker Day in collaboration with Casey Rodemore, the founder of the Ordinals Protocol and the Rune Protocol. And we'll end here on a really spicy story, guys. Patrick Amidon, who is a legendary glitch artist, well, he's dropping an incredible new collection called Disobedience. Special thing with this project, though, it is going multi-chain. So you see here, 256 editions on Ethereum, 64 on Solana, 32 on Bitcoin, 32 on Base, 16 on Arbitrum. Definitely something to keep your eyes on. Now, just a reminder, I'm going to be live at 10 a.m. Eastern Time over on the Slamex channel on the brand new Chain Reactor Show. So all the topics we talked about today, we're going deeper into those and more. And then fam, at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, join us for Inside NFTs Live. That'll be here on X and also on YouTube. I got to say, yesterday's episode, I don't think I've ever laughed as hard as I did then. What a crazy show. What a crazy good time. So join Henry the Grape, the great Yojo, and myself. We're going to take you all around the NFT space, and we'll try to do it a little more serious today. Maybe not. And then fam, tomorrow morning, I'll be back with your NFT market update. We'll get into all the latest happenings. Remember, if it's happening in NFTs, I'm bringing you inside. Until the next time, I'll see you.